I want to explain which currency pairs I trade and on which time frames and why. So let me explain more right now. Hi traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here, the Forex Trading Coach, and today is Friday the 8th of August. And I've received an email that I've uh, printed out here from Amir, uh, who uh, follows me on uh, my website and also on my daily posts on the Forex Peace Army review site. And the question um, says, um, Andrew, you know, I've been uh, following you for quite a while now, understanding how you trade. Um, can you make a video explaining about the currency pairs that you trade and why? Um, because Amir is saying that he, you know, he finds that he's paying some large spreads on some of the cross pairs and the exotics. And so he'd like some information and, and tips about filtering out which uh, pairs to concentrate on and why. So thank you uh, for that question, Amir. So uh, for me in general, if I'm trading the longer time frame charts, so I'm talking the monthly charts, the weekly charts, the daily charts, um, it doesn't really matter which currency pair I'm trading because the uh, stop loss and the profit targets are usually fairly large on those uh, pairs because of the longer time frame nature of the trades. And therefore, really, the spread doesn't um, become an issue. You know, if you're looking at, let's say, for example, the uh, British pound New Zealand dollar, which can have sometimes a higher spread, let's say the spread six or seven pips, well, that's absolutely fine. And it doesn't um, affect my trade. If the profit target happens to be, you know, 150, 250, 300 pips, whatever it might be, based on the time frame of the chart I'm trading, um, so therefore the spread that you pay um, is such a an insignificant amount because the profit target you're looking at is uh, such a, a large amount. However, I wouldn't be looking at trading, let's say, the British pound New Zealand dollar if the spread was, let's say, seven pips on a five-minute chart trade and the profit target may happen to be somewhere you know, 15, 20, 30 pips, whatever it might be. So uh, the, uh, when you trade the shorter time frame charts, you need to be quite uh, selective in which currency pairs you're selecting to trade, you're choosing to trade. Of course, it still needs to have um, other reasons why you're taking those trades, such as like the right, um, uh, the actual setup you're looking for, the, whether it's a chart pattern or indicators or fundamentals, whatever it is that you're using, you still need to have the right setup for your trade plan. You still need to be able to get the uh, reward out of the trade, so the risk to reward ratio correct out of the trade. So all of that still needs to be factored in. So generally, the shorter the time frame that you trade, generally, the smaller the stop loss and generally the smaller the profit target on the trade, therefore, the spread, whatever the spread amount is, it becomes a bigger and bigger proportion of that trade. Um, so that's why on the longer time frame charts, it really doesn't matter to me. I'm just looking at the right technical setup um, based on everything that I'm looking for within my own trading patterns, um, regardless of the uh, the currency pair itself. Uh, when it comes to the next time frames down, like the 12 hour, the six hour, uh, or the four hour charts, again, the spread on most of those trades uh, is uh, quite an insignificant amount due to the um, the bigger ranges of those longer time frame charts. And when it comes to anything shorter than that for my own trading of a one hour chart or below, then I prefer to be trading in the direction of my daily trade analysis. So if, for example, today being Friday, I'm looking for short positions on the Australian US, the Australian yen, uh, there is some Aussie news announcements out, uh, in a few hours from now. But right now, I can see that the Aussie weakness uh, from the employment data out yesterday, which was bad for Australia, is likely to continue. The technicals and the fundamentals are suggesting uh, the Aussie dollars looking to weaken today uh, being Friday. So that means if I I'm trading the one hour charts or below, I'm preferring to look for short positions. If the news announcement comes out and goes completely um, bullish, then that doesn't really affect me. It just means that I'm not likely to see many sell setups. Therefore, I just don't take any trades on those shorter time frame charts. Um, and when it comes down to those shorter time frames again, so 15 minute and less than that, so 15 minute charts, five minute charts, or even one minute charts, 
realistically, it is going to be those major pairs uh, which are dominated by the US dollar, so the Euro US, the Pound US, the US Franc, um, Aussie US, etc. Um, and some of the yen pairs as well, like the Euro yen, the Aussie yen. You're looking for um, currency pairs that not only have the candle pattern, not only in the direction of your longer term view, but also those that have spreads of, let's say, two pips or below. You really wouldn't want to be trading a, a pair that has, let's say, a four or five pip spread if you're trading on a uh, five minute chart, for example, because Again, all you're doing is paying your broker so uh, much as a percentage of your uh, trade. Um, so it does become significant the shorter the time frame that you're trading. Um, so I hope that helps you with selecting currency pairs. Try not to get too sort of uh, caught up in which currency pairs you're trading in terms of if you live in Britain, don't worry about having to trade the British pound. If you live in the US, don't worry about having to trade the US. And the same for me here in New Zealand, just because I live here um, doesn't mean to say that I'm predominantly looking at New Zealand dollar pairs. It doesn't matter. I've got to be trading uh, with an independent open mind and looking at the actual technical setups because I'm a technical trader, regardless of what the currency pair is. So it's just a really important point to get across there. So I hope that helps you. Uh, this is Andrew Mitchum from the Forex Trading Coach. Have yourself a fantastic weekend and I look forward to bringing you some more trading information, tips and advice this time next week. Bye for now.